All right. Okay, so noise model. And on the picture you see is noisy model. It's not a noise model. <laughs> so it's just some fun. Um, so what is noise model? NLDM actually used to have a noise model, uh, which fell out of favor pretty fast because it was never accurate. Uh, it, it showed up sometime in 2002, 2003, and by 2005, um, nobody used it. It was the one model that I've used from, uh, that I've seen from Synopsys. They put it out there without uh, providing uh, any uh, accuracy or validation, and uh, it was a failure pretty much. Um, so NLDM uh, model, does, uh, noise model does not exist uh, anymore. At least I haven't seen that uh, in, in last 10 years. Uh, simplex, uh, um, ECSM noise model and uh, CCS noise model, they picked up uh, pretty fast. Uh, but noise analysis in itself is not that common. Um, uh, it's it's uh, typically I've seen it only for high performance designs and it's not, uh, it may or may not be part of a uh, sign of flow. So uh, with that, let's get started. So what is noise model? Noise is essentially what we are using the term noise here is for crosstalk noise, meaning you have an aggressor on the, on the wire, which is aggressing on another wire, uh, which is a victim and it changes uh, the timing characteristics of the stage delay. So it could cause a functional failure at the cell input, um, and uh, it calculates the noise bump on the cell outputs uh, as noise propagates through the cell and, uh, uh, and also cause the change in delay. So these are the three uh, noise analysis prop, uh, analysis uh, um, that this model enables. Um, CCS noise models are characterized using GUNA. Um, See, the one additional thing in CCS noise models it, is that it requires partitioning the netlist into smaller CCBs. So what are CCBs? CCBs are channel connected blocks. Um, essentially your uh, uh, transistor is connected at the pins, close to the pin, um, so that it uh, completes the channel. Um, so that's part of CCB and CCBs are used for um, uh, for uh, noise characterization. Uh, there are two types of CCBs, arc-based CCBs and pin-based CCBs. Pin-based CCBs are uh, universally applicable to all cells. Arc-based CCBs are more accurate only for the cells that are one or two CCB stages, like inverter or NAND gate or NOR gates. Any more complex like AOI and OAIs, they don't uh, AOIs and OAIs with more than two CCBs uh, cannot be used um, for arc-based CCBs. And components of the noise model, uh, essentially there, there, there are four. Uh, one is VIVO model, second is a noise propagation model, third is a output voltage model, and the fourth one is Miller capacitance model. How do we measure? Same thing um, that we did for other models. Supply the input, measure the outputs and see what's going there. So VIVO measure, voltage in, voltage output. Um, and this is a DC uh, sweep to capture the current flowing through Vout. So the setup of this VIVO is very simple. You have a CCV that you, the software is already partitioned for a pin or an arc. You apply the voltage source at the input and you also apply voltage source of the output uh, and you sweep through v, v in and V out. Now for every change in V in V out, you record what is the current, the DC current flowing through V O and that's your VIVO model. And this is, uh, this looks like some what's uh, shown in, on the slide. It's a simple table with, the, with an index of V I and V O with different values and the table captures the value in the tables and values in the table capture current. Um, and it's shown as uh, uh, it's uh, um, on the slide, the slide shows the, the Liberty format for Vivo model. CCS noise output voltage measure. What is output voltage? It's similar to ECSM. Um, the only difference is because um, on the output, there is no load that is connected. It's a very small load or, um, or sometimes it's, it's, 
It's uh, just parasitics that are hanging off of that pin that are connected. And other than that, it's like ECSM um, timing with the difference that ECSM voltage waveform is captured on the entire cell and this is being captured only on the CCB. CCB is again channel connected block. And the other difference is the voltage values are captured at a five equally spaced voltage point, 10, 30, 50, 70, and 90 are the most suitable choice. You can have other choices as well. Uh, on ECSM, however, uh, it is um, arbitrary to uh, maintain the uh, accuracy of the voltage waveform. Only two slope points are used to characterize because it's not very sensitive to slope and it's not sensitive at all to the output load values. Uh, and this is uh, how it is um, looks in the CCS uh, in the Liberty models, uh, output voltage rise, output voltage fall. And again, it's a voltage waveform that's being captured and this is how it looks. So the keywords are output voltage rise, it starts with vector, index one is slope, index two is load, and index three is time, and index four is a, your, your voltage value. And that's repeated for fall. Propagation measure. Uh, noise propagation requires noise single definition. Triangle defined by height and width is well accepted as a noise single. There are other methods of specifying the, the uh, noise signal. Um, we, will, we, we, we use triangles or anything else uh, specified by the user. Apply noise signal at the input, capture voltage waveform at the output, um, and that's your noise propagation uh, measurement. And the way it uh, shows up in Liberty is as follows. Uh, it's again a table of uh, triangle, uh, which is uh, characterized by uh, width and height. So this is your index one and index two. Index three is your capacitance. And index four is your time. Index five is your uh, your um, voltage waveform or um, value of the voltage. So that's your um, propagated noise model. In Miller cap, Miller cap is um, uh, and the measurement of Miller cap uh, happens also at CCBs. Uh, you apply input um, capacitance and output voltage, and it's assumed that there is a Miller cap between input and output between these two nodes here and here. And so what you're doing is for a fixed C in one, you're changing V out one and measuring the change in V in one. So every change in V out will change the voltage across C in, and you're measuring that as to how much you're changing it by. So um, that's one and you repeat it for a different C in. So you have C in one, C in two, and the change of V out divided by V in for these two. And you use this formula CI1 minus CI2 divided by um, the difference of voltage ratios is your Miller capacitance. Where does this formula come from? It is, uh, uh, I, I have a blog as to how this is derived. Um, uh, so you can go through that. Um, I won't cover this in this webinar. Uh, time is just not enough. And uh, how does it show up in the Liberty? And Liberty shows somewhat like this, direction is input, CCN first stage, and you have two simple uh, uh, statements, Miller cap rise and Miller cap fall for every pin, and that's what your Miller cap is. And uh, these are some of the GUNA options to let you control the CCS noise model. And again, it supports all four CCS noise models, viewer model, noise propagation model, output voltage model, and real capacitance model. So with that, let's go to our lab and see what we get for our noise. So that, uh, that was uh, uh, pretty quick. And before you uh, went for break, I just gave them a noise, uh, a couple of blogs on noise, which is also part of lab declaration part one. So I hope this is fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and thank you for that. Um, yeah, that was quick. Surprisingly quick. I'm not, see, I'm not covering anything that you've covered in, the last, in your last uh, webinar. So that's making it uh, quick enough. Right, right. 